Special thanks to Patreon supporter Yeg Tiger for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Tool for here bringing you another Minecraft Forward 2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Junkers JU388J Starbreaker. The JU388 is a World War II German Luftwaffe multi-role aircraft based on the JU88 airframe by the way of the JU-188. It is referred from its predecessors in being intended for high altitude operation, with design features such as a pressurized cockpit for its crew. The JU-388 was introduced very late in the war, and production problems along with the deteriorating war conditions meant that few were built. The aircraft we have in front of us here is the J-Variant. The J-Variant was designed as a heavy fighter slash night fighter variant, and uh, was kind of a step away from the other roles, which were mainly reconnaissance and um, basically being kind of high altitude bombers. Um, so yeah, really interesting aircraft here and, um, you know, just a cool kind of late war type configuration. It was specifically requested that we do the night fighter variants, so that's why we did the one here, but most of the other variants of the JU-388 did have a fully glass nodes, so that's going to kind of be your main um, difference here between the uh, night fighter variant and the um, typical kind of bomber and reconnaissance roll JU388s. Before we go ahead and jump in and take a look at this build, I do want to go ahead and give special thanks to Patreon supporter Yeg Tiger for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions where you can go and play the small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a vehicle request you're choosing. It really helps support the work I do on my channel and is really greatly appreciated, so definitely feel free to check that out. Again, link for that is always in my video descriptions. With that though, let's go ahead and dive in here to take a little look at the JU388J. So going ahead and getting started with here, we have the nose and you're going to tell this is kind of the night fighter variant because of our structured kind of radar system on the nose here, which is very iconic for many of the night fighter variants that the Germans, um, you know, fielded. They like to place their radar systems in the front mounted on the nose um, and all that stuff. So pretty cool design there for it. I think it came out pretty good. We then have the cockpit here. Um, again, Really nothing too crazy for it. Pretty simple and small cockpit. I do believe it has a it's a two seater if I remember correctly. Uh, we then have the wings. Um, obviously nothing too crazy about them. Pretty standard and simple. Your two engines, uh, ones on both sides. We then also have some other like detection equipment. Um, I'm assuming some radar equipment like that located on the two wings and these kind of probes that stick forward. I imagine probably one is for airspeed and the other one, um, again, I, I couldn't really tell you, but probably something to do with its radar and night fighter capabilities because it seems like the night fighter is the only one that actually has that. Uh, we then have the back here, just the kind of cabling that runs up to the vertical stab, um, some of the little detailing and stuff like that on the back, little instruments that poke out. Uh, we then have the side um, of the aircraft that has the kind of numbering or the lettering and stuff like that to tell part of its squadron or its uh, designation and all that stuff, um, as well as the little German cross, and that's also available on the tail. This one also does have the guns on the rear turret, which would be operated by a, um, you know, co-pilot or a gunner. Um, but yeah, really cool little design there, kind of a remote controlled uh, type turret there for the rear. Um, overall, really cool looking build. I'm really happy the way it came out. I think it looks uh, really sweet and kind of our first real German night fighter uh, variant that we have in our um, kind of collection of World War II aircraft. So cool addition to it and should be a fun build. With that though, let's go ahead and move into our first layer. All right guys, so moving into our first layer here, we will be going ahead and start off layer three. Now we're starting off layer three because we get a better kind of basis of the aircraft established and then we're kind of easier, or we'll have an easier time building layers one and two off layer three and then layers four and up. So that's why we're starting with this layer here. A few things I do want to go ahead and mention real quick is if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials. Um, the first thing is that we will be building this half on half off. What this means is we're building the entire right side of the aircraft and along with the center line and they'll be up to you guys to take the right side and copy it over to the left side. Um, for the most part this aircraft is symmetrical. There are going to be a few things that may be a little bit different um, depending on the sides of the aircraft we're on. But they're very minor and um, very far from few in between. So if you do, uh, or when we get to the sections I will explain those a little bit more thoroughly uh, when we do have those differences. Um, anyways though, um, again I do want to go ahead and mention that uh, this is going to be for the in-flight model as well. Um, and this will not be the landed version. The landed version does sit at an angle and uh, would require a whole separate design for it to actually uh, look proper. So again, this is going to be for the in-flight model only. Let's go ahead and get started though. 
First thing we want to do is we're going to place down a polished diorite upside down stair. We're going to follow this up with an item frame of a black concrete block in the item frame. If you're on Java, you also have the extra ability to place down a birchwood sign on the front of the stair, which I think just kind of helps blend that item frame in there a little bit better. You can also use invisible item frames if you want to as well, but you know, I like the classic look of having the item frame still present on the vehicle. Um, but yeah, you can do that on the front there. And again, Java, you can add the sign. If you're not on Java, you won't be able to place down a sign and item frame in the same block space. So you'll have to just place down the item frame. After that stair, we're going to place down a row of um, polished direct full blocks. They're going to go back down the stair line here in the aircraft. This is going to go back a total of 15 back from that polished direct upside down stair. After that, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of four of upside down pistons. Now, if you don't have access to a debug stick, which we'll be talking about a little bit later, I'd probably recommend as an alternative here to place down two polished direct full blocks and then a two polished direct top slabs instead. Um, but the pistons here upside down, if you have the debug stick on Java, are going to be a far superior design, so that's why we are going with them in this case. We're going to go then place down a polished direct upside down stair after this block here, then two polished direct top slabs, another polished direct upside down stair, a iron trap door, a top slab of polished direct, and two more iron trap doors to finish off that center line. Going back up to the front of the vehicle here, we're going to place down a upside down stair, come off the side of this block here. And we then want to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull coming off both sides of this stair. We're going to go ahead and then place down a second polished diorite upside down stair back, as well as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 polished diorite full blocks. We're going to go ahead and then place down another piston. It's going to sit upside down like this here on the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and take our skeleton skulls and place down 1, 2, and 3 on the right side. An alternative here to this block here would probably be just to place down a polished diorite upside down stair. If you went ahead and placed down the full blocks right here, probably a stair would be the best bet there. But for us and our design, we're going to be going ahead and continuing with our pistons, which are going to sit like that upside down. One thing I do want to go ahead and mention is that on the right side here, we have the three skeleton skulls. On the left side, we're going to have two skeleton skulls and then one end rod upside down. Um, so you may want to just place down a block here and place down your end rod sticking down just so you don't forget it, or just go ahead and kind of replicate this back area real quick. Um, but yeah, just note that that's going to be the one difference here for this layer, so just keep that in mind as we progress to include that. Um, we're going to go ahead and also place a birchwood sign on the side here of this piston, just like that. After that's done, going back up to the front here, we're going to place down an iron trap door that's going to come off the fourth polished direct full block, and we're going to go ahead and take our top slabs and go back one, two, three, four, as well as two iron trap doors. We're going to place down an iron trap door here, as well as one, two, three polished direct top slabs, and then one, two, three iron trap doors. We're going to go then place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven iron trap doors, and we're going to go ahead and repeat the same thing again, another row of seven of iron trap doors. At this point here, we are going to go ahead and start to get into our engines, and for our engines here, we're going to take our polished direct full blocks, and we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and it's going to be five like this back, and then a direct top slab, and then the iron trap door. We're going to go ahead and place down a direct top slab here, a polished direct full block, and then one, two, three, four, five forward. And we're going to go ahead and take our polished direct again, do kind of the same thing we did on the inside there, one, two, three, four, five full blocks, and then a polished direct top slab. Now with that done, on the front here, we're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of three across, as well as one, two, three blocks down the center. We're going to place down a black concrete block to both sides here, like that of that first one that sticks forward, as well as an iron bar like this going forward. We then want to go ahead and grab some dark oak wood trapdoors, and we're going to place down dark oak wood trapdoors on the side of the black concrete and the iron trapdoor, or sorry, the iron bars, and we're going to do the same thing on both sides there. Then lastly here for the tips of the um, engines, we're going to place down a zombie head just like that. And once we have that all done right there, that is going to wrap up everything we have here for layer number three. Here is a aerial overview of what we should have from the top down view. Just make sure you take both sides and transform over properly, um, the right side over to the left side, and do make sure you pay close attention to that one end rod that sticks down there from the left side and the left side only. With that though, with this uh, complete and everything looking like this, you are done with this layer, and we'll go ahead and move on to our next one, which will be layers one and two. All right guys, so when it comes to layer numbers one and two, we're gonna be going ahead and adding on kind of our um, you know, radar system here in the front and um, a few other little things here to kind of finish off the uh, bottom section of the aircraft. Now, the first thing we're going to be going ahead and doing here is we're going to be setting up these um, these uh, little antenna that come off the aircraft. 
Now, there's really no good way to do it if you were not on Java. If you're on Java, we do have some cool things that we can do. They really kind of make this look good. Um, for the kind of non-Java way, I would probably recommend going ahead and grabbing yourself a Birchwood fence gate for this application. And I would probably place down a fence gate like this that comes down from the skeleton skull. So it's kind of right below it and you open it out toward the outside of the aircraft. We'll then place down a barrier block. So a barrier block here can be attained by typing the command slash give at p uh, minecraft colon barrier and we'll be using this also for the java version so make sure you keep that in mind i do believe they go by structure blocks on um, other versions but basically you just want an invisible block that you can attach a lever to and that invisible block here is just going to go right here and you're going to place down a lever on top of it now um that's kind of the i guess uh, more friendly way to do it if you kind of want the really good way um, the way i personally would do it is we're going to place down a block here in the center we're going to place down a lever off the side of it now we're going to go ahead and then type in the command slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick so it'll be this command here press and enter will give us this glowing stick what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and left click this until we get selected face wall we're going to go ahead and make sure that we're crouching so shift click and we're going to right click and set this to ceiling we'll then left click this again selected facing west again still crouching we're going to right click this and rotate it so it faces out toward the outside. We'll then take our barrier block, we're gonna place it down into the side here of the lever, so it kinda of looks like it's pointing to it, and then we're gonna place down a lever on top of that barrier block, which is facing toward um, that lever. So it kinda of creates this nice kind of connection here. It looks a lot cleaner than the fence gate. But again, the fence gate is something that's gonna be like the best you can do if you're on a different version. Now, once you're done with that, you're gonna take your end rods, and you're gonna go ahead and place down two end rods forward of the lever here. And then we want to take chains and we're going to place down two chains on top and two chains on the bottom here of our end rods. So we're going to basically do that for both sides there and that's going to go ahead and create our bottom section of our forward radar. We then want to go ahead and place down a iron bar that's going to come down from this first polished direct block down the center here. So it's going to be two iron bars that come down the center. Now, this next section here is going to be done only on the left side of the aircraft. So again, I'm going to go ahead and reiterate that. It's going to be on the left side only, not on the right side. So you should have basically this kind of offset gun pod. How this is uh, started is we're going to go ahead and go to our third polished direct full block on the side here. We're going to place down a direct wall that goes down. We're going to place down two dark liquid fence gates that are going to be opened up toward the rear of the aircraft. Then a polished direct slab. We'll then place down a piston which we can go ahead and replace with a stair if you are on a different version, or you can actually, I'd probably rather just recommend a full block if you don't have access to the debug stick and the piston method. After that, we're gonna place down two polished direct full blocks, then a near piston or a polished direct full block, a polished direct slab, and then an iron trap door. What we can do next is to the pistons is we can actually go ahead and left click them until we get selected extended false. We'll then right click them and we can actually get rid of that wood portion. But real quick before we do that, just to go ahead and kind of blend the uh, pistons into the aircraft a little bit better. We're going to place down birchwood signs on the side of the pistons and this just kind of helps keep that lighter color a little bit more present. And then we'll go ahead and right click those pistons like so to go ahead and make that gun pod. And again that's going to be on the left side of the aircraft and the left side only. So that's done there. The next thing here for us to cover is going to be our engines. So pretty simple stuff for our engines here. We're going to place down a um, upside down stair that's going to go underneath the iron do trap door there or the iron bar. And then a second, third, then it's gonna be three, four, five stairs back. Then a polished direct slab. We're gonna place down a slab here in the center, and then one, two, three, four, five blocks going forward. We're gonna place down a black concrete block here, and then an iron bar. And we're gonna use the same technique as we do on the other side, polished direct upside down stair, then one, two, three, four, five back from it, and then a polished direct slab. So it's gonna kind of form the bottom there of our um, kind of nacelle. We're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door on the bottom of the iron bar, and then one more iron trap door back from that. We're going to go ahead and skip this space here, place down a piston, and then a polished direct slab. We'll go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame, as well as a black bed, and our birchwood sign. We're going to place down an item frame here, a black bed rotated sideways, and then a birchwood sign in the item frame. We'll right click the, the piston with our debug stick, and we'll get rid of that wood portion. You can probably use a polished direct slab or full block as an alternative here for the piston, whichever you prefer in terms of looks. But that's going to create that little scoop there on the bottom of the engines. And with that, that's going to wrap up everything I think we have here. Actually, one quick thing also before we go ahead and move on, um, there is going to be the end rod that's going to come down from this one. So we're just going to kind of come off this end rod out to the side and then there's one more that goes down from it like so. 
for this little kind of antenna type thing. And once you have that done, then that's pretty much it for that. Uh, one thing we'll also go ahead and cover now, since we have our kind of center point for our engines, is we can go ahead and now talk about the engines and actually getting the propellers set up for them. Now, they're really simple to do. Um, they are four-bladed, so it makes it a little bit easier for us. But we're just going to go ahead and kind of go down, uh, or kind of go up, or out really, kind of, I guess, at an angle from the uh, block right there in the center of our engine. We're going to go ahead and continue going up like a staircase with our walls. So just kind of out to the side and up and out to the side and down for our lower ones here. And then after we have that done, we just want to go ahead and grab ourselves a um, random kind of block that we can tell apart from the aircraft and delete later. We're going to place it on top so these walls or the bottoms. And then on the side here, we're just going to place it on Wither Skeleton Skull. And then we can delete that block. And that makes our um, propellers. And we're just going to go do the same thing over here. Your side, or this side already have the bottom complete, so we're just going to do the top real quick. So like this, and same thing over here, like that. And that is going to be the propellers there complete um, for uh, the aircraft. Anyways, though, that is going to conclude everything we have there for layers 1 and 2, and I guess also our propellers. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on to our next layer, which will be layer number 4. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 4. For layer 4 to start with, we're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of this upside down polished diorite stair. And we're going to then go back from this green terracotta block with a long row of green terracotta, going all the way down the center of our aircraft, and for a total of 26, ending on top of this iron trap door right here. We're going to then place down a mossy cobblestone wall, another green terracotta block, a end rod, and then a chain like that going back from that. We're going to go then place down a dark oak trap door on both sides of this green terracotta block to go ahead and start kind of building our um, rear tail gunner position. We're going to go ahead and then go back up to the front of the aircraft and start working our way out to the side. We're going to place down a green stained glass pane coming off this green terracotta block, as well as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 green terracotta blocks back from that. We'll then take our mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to place down three back, and then four green stained glass panes like that to go ahead and continue building our fuselage back. Up here in the front, on top of these chains here, we're just going to place down one more chain going up like that from each of those just to go ahead and kind of continue our little radar we have going on and then at this point we're going to be going ahead and working on our wings for our wings here we're going to go ahead and start off with a dark oak wood slab and then we're going to place down two pistons a good alternative here to the pistons would be to use the end portal frames they kind of create the same height difference as the pistons here that are used with the debug stick so you, you can use the end portal frames as a good alternative um if, other than that you'll have to find something that you think works a little bit better if you do not prefer the look of the end portal frames. Anyways, we're going to place down a dark oak slab going back, a daylight detector, a dark oak trapdoor, and a green carpet like that. And that's going to be our first row here. Our second row is going to repeat the same process. So we're going to do the same exact thing, just like this going back. And just like this. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down two pistons up here in the front. We're going to go ahead and then place down two green terracotta blocks and then a second row too. Again, two pistons, two dark oak slabs, two daylight detectors and two dark liquid trap doors and make sure those trap doors are shut. Now once we get to this point here we're going to take our dark liquid uh, stairs here and we're going to start with our engine um, nacelle. We're going to place down two dark liquid stairs here and then we're going to take our green terracotta and go back one two three. We're going to follow that up with a piston and then a dark liquid slab, daylight detector and a dark liquid trap door. After that our next row here is going to be a black concrete block here coming on the back of the second stair a iron bar, and then we're going to take our green terracotta, go back one, two, three, four, five, and uh, yeah, just five back, as well as a piston, and then a uh, dark oak wood slab, just like that. And after we have that done, we're going to go ahead and also place down a dark oak wood trap door on the end here to finish it off. Now, after that's done, we're going to take our dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down one, two, three stairs here, and then this time we're going to go ahead and place down a polished diorite full block. We're going to go ahead and then go back from the polished diorite with one, two, three, green terracotta. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a piston as well as a dark oak wood slab to go ahead and finish that off like so. Then after we have that done there, we're going to go ahead and then take our polished diorite, which we'll also grab some slabs for. We're going to place down a polished diorite top slab here, then one, two, three, full blocks, and then two top slabs. So one, two, going back. We're gonna go ahead and then place down a row of six of top slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six. After that row of six, we're gonna go ahead and then place down a row of four. One, two, three, four. And then our next row is gonna be one, two, three. So it's gonna look just like that there on the edge there for our wing. 
We'll also grab some iron trap doors now, and we're gonna place down one, two in this spot here, then one, two, three. After that, we wanna go ahead and place down five. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna place down a row of four. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and place down one, two, three. So it's gonna look like just like that there, bring us out to the side. Now, after that is all done, uh, we then wanna go ahead and take our, uh, some random blocks and we're just gonna place down four blocks like this to the side here and on the bottom of those blocks we're going to place down end rods going all the way across there and that will be done again on both sides. Now at this point in time uh, really the last thing for us to do here is going to be going ahead and grabbing ourselves a debug stick so we'll go ahead and use that command we used earlier and we're going to go ahead and right click each one of these pistons go ahead and get rid of that wood portion. So this will be done here for um, all those pistons there and also from the previous uh, layer, layer 3 we can go ahead and also right click the pistons on the bottom here in this back section. Um, if applicable and also we do have these iron trap doors that will actually open um, the problem is we do have the daylight detectors above here um, you can obviously change this by going ahead and changing these to the night mode however I think they look better and blend in with the aircraft a little bit better on the day mode so what we can do here is you can either swap these out for birch wood trap doors that you can close manually or you can take your iron trap doors here use your debug stick left click it to get selected open true and then right click them like this to actually go ahead and manually shut them um, either way will work, uh, but or any of those options will work, but obviously the iron trap doors with the debug stick are going to be your, the superior method. Anyways though, with that all done there, that is going to wrap up what we have for layer number 4 for the build. I'll go ahead and give you guys again an overview of what it should look like from the top down view so far. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, which will be layer number 5. Alright guys, so moving into our next layer here, we have layer number Five. For layer 5 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to start off with a dark oak wood slab that's going to go on top of that middle, or that second green terracotta block, and we're going to go ahead and place down black or three black stained glass blocks back from that. We're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to then place down a row of nine that's going to go down the center, then a iron uh, bar right here, and then we're going to place down another row of green terracotta going down the center here for a total of 12. So 12 blocks down the center, a mossy cobblestone wall, and then another green terracotta block here on the tail. We're going to go ahead and then place down an end rod and then a chain coming off like that to complete our uh, guns on the back, as well as a dark oak trap door on both sides of this last green terracotta block. We're going to go ahead and then place down a row of six of iron trap doors here, so one, two, four, five, six. And we're going to go ahead and then place down one, two, three top slabs and then one, two, three iron trap doors. And then again, two top slabs and the iron trap door. So it's going to basically look like that. After that's done, we're going to take our green stained glass panes, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, and then we're going to go and grab our green, or mossy cobblestone walls and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 walls, and then 1, 2, 3 uh, green terracotta blocks, and then 1, 2, 3 black stained glass blocks, as well as a dark trap door here on the very front. Now, after that's all complete there, we want to go ahead and then go to the sides here of the fuselage. We're going to go and grab an item frame and also a green bed as well as our dark oak wood signs. We're going to go ahead and go to the second wall from the front. We're going to place down an iron frame, a green bed rotated sideways, and then a dark oak wood sign over it if you're on Java. We're going to do the same thing again right behind it. We're going to go ahead and skip space, place down an iron frame, and do the same technique. And then we're going to go ahead and take our zombie heads. We're going to place down a zombie head here, and one going forward like that on both sides there um, of the aircraft. And that's all we're going to do for, for that for right now. Going back up to the front here, we're going to go ahead and basically build our um, kind of forward uh, radar system. Again, the same techniques that we did before. Um, you can place down your um, fence gate here, or you can go ahead and use the technique with the lever. So again, we'll use our debug stick here. And this time we're gonna go ahead and set this to floor, and we're gonna go ahead and have this facing toward the outside. So just like that. And then we can go ahead and take our barrier block, we're gonna place it above it, like so. So just the opposite of what we did before. And we'll place down our lever like that. And our two end rods going forward from the lever, so like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and just place down our two chains on top of those end rods. So just like that. So you have your two options there for what you can do. And that right there is going to wrap up our forward radar. Now, after that is all complete there, we're gonna go ahead and then start working on our wing section here of the aircraft, which is gonna be started with some dark oak wood trap doors, which we're gonna place down a row of one, two, three down the center here. Then a wither skeleton skull, a polished black stone slab, and then a wither skeleton skull coming off that slab, as well as a dark oak sign to both sides of that slab. After that is all done, we want to go ahead and then place down um, 
some green carpet and really we're just gonna go ahead and grab a collection of blocks here so some daylight detectors our dark open slabs um our pistons and our green terracotta and some polished diorite right slabs now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and begin with by going ahead and placing down a green carpet on this section here and then one more green carpet here to the side we'll go ahead and go two dark oak with trap doors back and then we're gonna place down three green carpets back from that uh we then want to place down two daylight detectors here uh just say or actually sorry rather a dark oak with trap door and then two daylight detectors so just like that our next row here is going to be a dark oak with slab or rather a dark two daylight detectors here and then two dark oak slabs and then we're going to go and then place down a row of three dark oak slabs we're going to go and then place down a dark oak trap door here make sure that's closed two green carpets going back and we're going to place down our daylight detector here with a dark oak wood trap door and a green carpet and after that we're going to place down our uh, daylight detector here and then our dark oak wood trap door like that to form that up there um, after we have that all done there we want to go ahead and place down two pistons they're going to be in this section here and then or end portal frames whichever you used right here and then we're going to go then place down a dark oak wood slab as well as a daylight detector and then a dark oak wood trap door on the end here now our next row is going to be two green terracotta blocks here in the front then it's going to be a piston and then a dark oak wood slab then we want to go ahead and grab our polished diorite we're going to place down two polished diorite full blocks which is going to be followed with a green terracotta block here and then a dark oak wood slab on the very end we're going to go then take our uh, polished diorite we're going to place down a top slab here two full blocks and then and their top slab like that um, after we have that done, we want to go and then place down two rows of three. So one, two, three, and one, two, three, like that. After those are done there, we're going to go and place down a top slab count the center here, and then an iron trap door to both sides. We'll then place down another row of three of iron trap doors, and then one and two out to the side there, like that, to go ahead and form up the rest of our wing there. Um, at this point in time, we're going to go ahead and then grab a iron frame and a snowball. We're going to place down an item frame um, that's going to come off the piston here, and then a snowball in the item frame. Now, depending on what side of the aircraft you're on, will also dictate the um, little extension we have on the side here. So either way, it's going to come off of this um, green, green terracotta blocks. On the left side here, it's going to be two end rods and then a chain. And then over here on the right side, it's going to be a birchwood fence gate, I believe, and then, this, and then two end rods and then a skeleton skull. So um, over here on the right side again, it's going to be a... Um, fence gate and then two end rods and then a skeleton skull like that going forward to basically go ahead and go on the right side so again just kind of make sure you keep that in mind there uh keep those differences and um all that stuff as we progress for the rest of the build and we'll also take our debug stick now and right click those pistons to go ahead and get rid of that wood portion now for the most part that's it for our structure here for this uh, layer though there is a few things i'm going to cover which is going to be this giant or this german cross here and also those banners that we have on the front cockpit there that we use for shaping i'm going to go and grab a banner or a loom and i'll show you guys how to make those banners all right guys so going ahead and moving into our first uh our first banner here we're going to go ahead and obviously the loom we're going to need two green banners two black dye two white dye and three green dye for our first uh, banner design here we're going to place down our green banner in our loom and we're going to place down our black die in it with it. We're going to just do a line that goes horizontally across the top third of the banner. And that will be our first banner complete. Really simple stuff. We're going to go then place down our green banner design into our loom. Or just our normal green banner. Um, and this is going to be our second banner. We're going to take our white die place it in. We're going to do a line that goes vertically through the center. And then also the line that goes horizontally through the center to create this white cross. We'll then place down the black die into the banner as well. And we're going to go and select the pre-made cross. So it's going to look like this. This black cross with a white outline. We're going to go ahead and take our green die, place it into the loom. We're going to do a line across the top horizontally, the line across the bottom horizontally, and then we're going to go ahead and do the uh, green border that's going to go all the way around. And it's going to create this design here for this uh, German cross. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to take these um, banners with the black line across the top, and we're going to place down a dark open button on both sides here of that forward black stained glass block, and then two of those banners like that on e each side to go ahead and help shape our cockpit shape. With that done, we're going to go ahead and go to the back section here, and we're going to go ahead and set up our uh, banners. So this third from last uh, mossy cobblestone wall is going to have the green banner on both sides of the wall. So it's just going to be on both sides, like that, pretty straightforward and simple. 
Now after that is done, uh, we then want to go ahead and do our lettering and our numbering. Now this can be basically whatever numbers and letters you guys want. There are plenty of tutorials out there that do cover how to make these banners. For me, I just did A, C, and then one T. It really doesn't matter. You can obviously do whatever you guys want. Um, that's just what I did for this aircraft, which really doesn't have any meaning. Um, it's just kind of a random um, lettering that I put on the side there. Um, so just uh, keep that in mind. Um, you can kind of do whatever you want. Again, I have one, two uh, letters, then one number and one letter. It again, it reads left to right. And again, over here on this side, left to right. So just keep that in mind and you can go ahead and kind of add some nice detail there given the aircraft a designation or a, kind of an origin point of where the aircraft's from. Anyways though, uh, that right there is pretty much it for layer number um, five. And with that, let's go ahead and move on up to layer number six. All right guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number Six. For layer six to start with, we're gonna place down an air brick slam on top of this black stained glass block, as well as two black stained glass blocks back from it. We're gonna go ahead and place down a piston. Um, this can be substituted out for a um, air brick stair that's gonna be facing like this, and then we're gonna place down a air brick slab. We'll then place down a dark oak wood fence post after the air brick slab, and then go into the sides of the cockpit canopy. We're gonna place down a um, wither skeleton skull at an angle like that. Then we're gonna place down two air brick walls back, and then a wither skeleton skull on the side here of this piston. Uh, we'll go ahead and also grab ourselves a um, debug stick. So give fat P, Minecraft. Actually, we can probably just. There we go. And we can go ahead and right click our piston, like so. Then on the left side, and the left side only, we are going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall. Again, that'll be on the left side of the um, cockpit, just like that. We're going to go ahead and then uh, count back from the fence post one, two, three, four. And on your fifth space, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate and have it open up toward the front. After we have that done, we're going to go to our second um, kind of block here, our green terracotta block, we're going to place down a barrier block on top of that, as well as a dark oak wood trap door on top, and then a dark oak wood sign to both sides of the barrier block. So it's going to look like that there. After that is all done, we're going to go and then skip one, two, and then our third space here, we're going to place down a barrier block, and we want to go and then place down a button coming off the side of the barrier block, like so. We're going to go and skip one, two, three spaces again, we're going to place down another barrier block, and then we're going to go and then place down a stone button facing forward on that block as well. We're going to go and then place down a green carpet, and then one, two, three, four green terracotta blocks back, and then a dark oak wood up sound stair there on the very end. After that is done, on our vertical stabilizers, we're going to go and just place down green carpet on the tops of the iron trap doors and the slabs just to go ahead and finish that up there um, like that. And then after we have that all done there, we're going to go ahead and work on our... Uh, outer wings here, which is going to be done by going ahead and placing down two green carpets and three green carpets like that. We're going to go and then place down two dark oak with trap doors, a green carpet, and then we want to place down one dark oak with trap door, and then a daylight detector, and then a dark oak with trap door here. Again, make sure those trap doors stay closed. Then we're going to place down two more daylight detectors out to the side here, as well as a row of one, two, three, and four daylight detectors out to the side. And then we're just going to place down one, two trap doors like that closed. Again, we'll use our debug stick here to go ahead and make sure that these trap doors stay closed. Or you can use one of the methods I did describe earlier. And I also believe we forgot to do it for this one, these two here. So make sure that those ones are also edited as well. With that though done, that is going to conclude everything we have here for this layer. And that is going to wrap up our wings and all that. With this point in time, since we don't have really too much left to do, we're just going to move into our last final layers of the build and basically go ahead and complete the design. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers. Alright guys, moving into our next layer here, we have layer numbers um, 7 through, or sorry, layers 8 through 11. So for these layers to get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a end rod that's going to go on top of this fence post here. We're also going to place down two dark oak wood buttons on top of those black stained glass blocks. We're going to go then place down a zombie head on top of this lever, or on top of the end rod, and we're going to go and leave that as it is for right now. We then want to go ahead and move all the way back here to our vertical stabilizer. And for our vertical stabilizer here, we're going to place down two green stainless panes up, then one, two green terracotta, one, two again, and one, two. We'll then place down a mossy cobblestone wall and a green stained glass pane. We're going to go ahead and continue up with one, two, three green terracotta blocks, a dark oak trapdoor on the right on the back side there. And then on the top here, we're going to place down a uh, daylight detector, which will be sitting up here, and then two dark oak slabs back from that daylight detector. We're going to go and then take our dark oak buttons, and we want to place down one, two, three, going down the center here, and over here on the same thing, uh, four going down. Then uh, we want to go and grab our cross banner that we created before, 
and we're to place this on the side here of this green terracotta block and this will go on both sides there of the vertical stabilizer. Now with that all complete, the last thing we really have to do here is going to be our cabling. So our cabling here is really straightforward for the most part. Um, we're going to have a row first of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's going to be coming off of this block here. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 barrier blocks. We're going to go and then go off this zombie head with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 as well. So it's going to look like this here. Then we want to go and grab our buttons. We're going to place down buttons on the side of the first 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks. And then we're going to place down buttons on top of the last four. Then buttons on the side of the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then buttons on top of the last four. So it's going to look just like that there on the side. Now we're going to go then go to these barrier blocks, or the barrier blocks we started here. We're going to place down two more up. And then buttons on the forward side, like that going straight. This section here, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to place down a barrier block here, a button on the side, and then a barrier block coming off the bottom of this second to last one, which will have a button on the side of this block, and then a button going forward like that. And that right there is pretty much it for the cabling. Pretty simple stuff there, and I believe that's it for the build. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything, but everything does appear to be good to go. So with that all out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and consider layers, uh, se or, sorry, layers 8 through 11 complete. And with that, my design here for the JU388 uh, J model uh, heavy fighter slash night fighter complete. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do abuse this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being from a style on the build, tweet to my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, your free user for a project you guys are working on over on Enjoy the Build, have fun with it and all that fun stuff. Again, make sure to send special links to Patreon supporter Yeg Tiger for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. And uh, with that all the way, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is me, 204 and I'll see you guys next time.